Hello, Plant Tribe, and welcome back to Plants, Pots, and Whatnots. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back and supporting my channel. And um, if you are new here, welcome. It is so amazing to see you. I know I have jumped up quite substantially recently, so there's a lot of new people. Um, I am actually celebrating tonight because actually uh, two days ago, I think on Saturday, um, we broke 2,500 subscribers, which blows my absolute mind. Um, so thank you, every single one of you. It is so much more appreciated than I can even get out and put across to you. Um, so I thought today we could do a little repotting. I have my Glorious here, my Philodendron and Glor Glorious, and it is in desperate need of a new pot along with a brand new moss pole. And I also have my little um, moonstone, two-tone moonstone uh, aglonema, and it could use a pot and some fresh soil as well. It is still in the pot that I got it in from the, um, the nursery <laughs> words. And um, I just think it's, it's time. She's just looking a little meh. So, Anyway, while I do that, I'm gonna make the moss pole and repot these plants and stuff. And I asked you guys on Instagram to shoot me some questions and oh boy, did you ever deliver. <laughs> I got an absolute metric crap ton of messages. So I am going to try to answer as many as possible. I just kind of threw it out there and said plant bladed or otherwise. And I got a mismatch mush of like everything. So let's go ahead and get that started and let's repot some plants and answer some potentially awkward questions. Okay, I'm going to apologize for the glare on my eyeballs <laughs> now. Um, I've got my laptop here in front of me, but I, I tried doing it without my glasses on so you guys don't have to deal with the reflection, but then I couldn't see the questions and so just figured this is the lesser of two evils. So um, I think first we'll start with the easiest and do the Eglonema. Oh, okay. And I realized I forgot. The, oh, right. I forgot. <clears throat> okay. So question number one is from Kira. She is a local gal, the sweetest thing ever. She asks, what plant launched you into plant craziness? Is that where we are? Am I in plant craziness? Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I'd say that's fair. Um, Honestly, I don't know if there was a particular plant. I think to be to be truthful, it was really when I realized that it was socially acceptable and there was other people that were obsessed with plants as well. And I was like, oh, oh, this 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 is a thing. Okay, well then game on. <laughs> and it just kind of went from there. So, you know what? Oh no, this will be alright. It'll be all right. Um, okay. Uh, Kira also asked, what was your first plant? Oh my goodness. I have been a house plant lover for pretty much my entire life. Um, I don't know that I could really tell you what my first plant was. I think the first one that I really remember, I was probably 18 and I bought myself a China doll. And I'm not sure if you know what those look like. I'll put a picture of one here somewhere, wherever is more convenient for me later. Thanks editing Nikki <laughs> for figuring that one out. Um, and um, I think, or close in and around there was like a Benjamina ficus, ficus Benjamina, yeah, tree. And I had those for quite some time. They kind of traveled with me in my younger years. And um, it just kind of grew from there. I just collected this and then the other thing. Okay, so there's actually four plants in here. Oh, well, five really, but two of them are really tiny. Um, so I feel like this pot's a little bit 
overkill. And I might just take these two little guys out and put the three larger ones in here. I don't know. We'll just see when we get there. Okay, next question. <clears throat> uh, how many, This comes from my girl Sam. Um, she says, how many plants do you have now? Uh, she said I'm probably too late. Uh, she probably thought I was filming that. Oh, wow. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. All right. So let me show you what I just uncovered here. <laughs> That's, uh, this pot is just not going to cut it. Um, okay. <laughs> Technical difficulties. <laughs> I was not expecting that root system. Well, let me get it apart here and we'll just see and I'll just answer questions while I go. Okay. Um, anyway, yeah. So she thought she missed out on the questions. You didn't, Sam. You're good. Okay. So I probably, I think at the last count, which was about three weeks ago ish, I had about 220, 230. Um, I haven't gotten a whole lot of plants recently, maybe a couple. So, no, maybe a couple. I might be around 240. Let's go with 240. That sounds like a nice safe number. <laughs> safe number. 240 house plants. What's the problem? Manhattan. Um. Yeah, I think I answered that question. Um, introverted plant, I can't read all of them, um, asks, how long have you had braces and when are they supposed to come off? Well, <laughs> so I got them on this coming May. It'll be two years since I've had them. Um, at my last um, orthodontist appointment, he said that He's pretty sure they're going to be booking an appointment for them to come off. Oh my God. This was unexpected. This is not acceptable. Um, anyways, so yeah, he is talking about um, potentially booking an appointment for me to get them off at my next visit, which is in two weeks. So I'm really jazzed about that. What the hell is... No way. Oh my, wait till you see what I just found in here. <laughs> okay, hold on, I gotta hold it up. Oh, I'm getting dirt all over my laptop. Whose idea was this? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna hold it up, see if you can see. Can you see this? That's a little nursery pot. What? Oh my god. Okay, so now the challenge is to get it out. There's more. What? Oh, this is this is ridiculous. Who does that? <sighs> okay, anyway. So soon. I'm hoping very soon. This is insane. I can't even they each of these plants are in a tiny little like one inch pot. I and they're, the roots are completely like surrounded. There's a pot right here. There's a pot right here. And there's a pot right here. I've never seen this before in my life. Oh, this is such a mess. I'm just gonna do the best I can. <laughs> These are, I can't, I'm gonna have to get aggressive. guys. <laughs> I don't like being aggressive with my roots. But literally, the roots are wound around these pots so tightly that I can't, like, I can't even pull these apart. This is crazy. Okay, next question. Oh, do you ever get fed up looking after plants? No, <laughs> except when stupid things like this happen. Look at this. They have pushed their way through this tiny little pot. How am I going to get it out of there without them... I have no words for this. I have no words. I was expecting just a simple, easy little repotting video here, but that's not looking like that's going to happen. Okay, we're gonna try to pull this out. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do it without damaging roots. I'm gonna have to go back and try to remember where I got this from and see what grower 
um, the nursery I bought it from got them because it's one thing to plant your plugs in um, like those biodegradable little, oh God, there goes a root, um, pots, but it is entirely another to plant them in plastic pots and then stick them inside another nursery pot. That is insane. This is a heartbreaking. I am just trying to like wiggle him out of here. He is gonna seriously have to go through some, I'm gonna have to cut it, I'm gonna cut it. Um, the next question is preferred fertilizer. Um, I use Marifil uh, Soil Enhancer. Um, they are a Canadian company and their soil enhancer has all of the micro and macro nutrients required um, for great health, health, health <laughs> house plant growth and um, I swear by them. I think it's great that they're Canadian, but not only that is that uh, a portion of all sales goes to Mission Blue, which is an initiative to help save our oceans. Um, and oh, this, look at this, I've cut this pot off. I can't, oh, these poor roots. Okay, okay. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, I am so upset by this. I'm sorry, like, look. What the actual fudge? Really wanted to swear. What the fudge? So I absolutely, like, even before I knew that, which is just like an added bonus, um, I loved what the product was doing for my plants. I mean, I have some plants that are not easily replaced, um, are not cheaply replaced. So finding something that you trust and that really works is a big friggin' deal. So when I got this stuff, uh, and started using it. Actually, uh, Bryce and Christian from House of Monstera had sent me some, um, just as a little like thank you gift or whatever, I guess, and uh, just because they're sweet and lovely and wonderful. Um, and I started using it, and within a few weeks, I was noticing changes in my plants. It's great on propagations and and whatnot. So, oh, freaking god, <laughs> this is so tough. Um, I'll link Marifil's, um website down below. I also have a code for 10% off that I will put down there as well if you're interested. Where do you get your plants? I live in CNY. Where's that? Central New York? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where that is. And I'm not that far away from... Oh, a day trip to Canada. Okay, that might be CNY, Central New York. Um, so... All of my big aeroids, so this guy, my bilitai, all my big philodendrons, my anthuriums, um, for the most part were purchased through um, Bryce and Christian at House of Monstera. They are fabulous, fabulous people. And um, that's where most of them come from. <clears throat> There's number two. Seriously, so upset. Okay, and the last one. <laughs> I hope this plant survives and gets better after this. It, I can't even imagine what this feels like. Okay, um, anyways, so I'll link their, their uh, Instagram and their webpage down below because they are awesome. If you haven't checked them out yet, go check them out. They are starting to ship again. Oh, I got them covered. They're starting to ship again on March 19th, and I and beside myself excited. Um, I have a few plants coming. Um, there's one in particular that they have, um, that they're, that they know is uh, one that I want. And so I'm pretty excited about that one in particular. <laughs> what popular plant don't you like? I think I've been pretty vocal about what plant that's everybody else seems to love and I can't stand. Um, and actually I was just in a collab video with a bunch of other amazing YouTubers on um, Jimmy's channel and Jimmy's at Legends of Monstera. 
and uh, he's just he's just a cool guy and he asked us all if we'd like to take part in this and he just kind of wanted to know everybody's um, most underrated and most overrated plants and mine without even thinking about it was peperomia the, like the entire genus I just I just don't get it <laughs> Anyway, I'm not going to go on the Peperomia rant because if you've been around a while, you've probably heard that rant a few times. So we're just not going to beat a dead horse, okay? Okay. Um, variegated or not variegated? Do I have to answer that? Is that a real question? Kimmy? <laughs> Absolutely. I love variegated plants. Um, I know there are some people who like just the green original OG plants and in some um, species that I you know I do like that or some varieties I do like that um, but if for the most part if you were to place you know a particular plant in front of me in both forms the likelihood is pretty good that I'm gonna choose the variegated one every single time okay so that was freaking brutal I'm covered in dirt my laptops covered in dirt everything is covered in dirt and these poor plants and I bet oh my gosh okay so I've got some soil in here I'm gonna try to get the roots down there let's get this guy in there beside his family I'm gonna be sternly talking to somebody I don't know who yet that is crazy if you could only keep five plants which ones would you keep oh lord Oh, why are you guys asking difficult questions? God, that's so difficult. I love all of my philodendrons. I love my, I am so covered in dirt. Um, I love my Monstera Thai Constellation. I love my elbow. Okay, so five, right? And just shake it as it goes so it kind of falls into all those crazy roots going on. I'm definitely going to have to go with both of my Monsteras. If anybody's wondering what these dangly bits in here are, it's just little pieces of sphagnum moss, like long fiber sphagnum moss. I had a little bit in the bottom of this bucket after doing um, that terrarium project. <laughs> so, um, and it's fine to have in here. It's not going to do anything. It just kind of retains a little bit of moisture and that's pretty much it. Um, okay, so anyway, elbow, Thai constellation, Jordan loves that one. And I really do like this Glorious. It's definitely one of my favorite philodendrons. My Bilati, 125%. Oh, I'm not pick. I can't pick. I can't. I'm just looking up here. And I have, like, my Varicosum is here. My Mammy is here. My Frydeck. Oh, my gosh. My Frydeck. I can't answer this question. <laughs> what do you love most about yourself? Oh, this is going deep. Um, wow. Uh, I, I don't know, I guess. I, I have a great personality. Is that lame and cheap? I don't know. I've, you know, struggled a lot, especially since my kids were born or, or since I've started having children, I used to be like 126 pounds soaking wet, had abs, um, and since I had kids, my body changed and kind of never went back to how it used to be, and that's something that I have struggled with for a very long time, um, very yo-yo. But apparently my mother was the same she really struggled with her weight as well um, and so maybe it's just a family trait I don't know but um, anyways I am getting better with it I am at a point now where um, I'm a lot more comfortable in my skin than I used to be so that's something I like about myself that I have recognized um, you know something 
negative or that used to impact me negatively and I have made steps to, you know, I've come to the, the realization that I'm never going to be that, you know, 20 year old toothpick again. And I have learned to accept it and for the most part, not entirely, not entirely. I still am trying to, you know, drop some weight and stuff like that, but I know I'll never be where I was. And so I'm just learning to be okay with me and who I am and how I look. And um, you know what? I am the type of person and I've got, got gotten to this probably just in the last six years or so um, that, you know, I am who I am. You either like me or you don't. Um, my happiness is not contingent on anyone's opinion of me. And that is the most freeing and liberating feeling once you realize that, <laughs> that, you know, you liking me, you, not you guys, you guys have to like me, right? I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, no one's opinion of me is going to make or break my happiness because that's just giving someone else way too much power over me. And I don't want to relinquish that much control. Anyway, I'm getting way too like, Bleh. Scott, I'll have to have a talk with you about that question later on. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you ever dream about plants? Actually, I don't think I've ever had a dream about a plant. No, I don't think I have. Okay, uh, I think that is um, pretty much her done. So I really hope that she pulls through. Eglonemas are pretty tough anyway. And um, so let's hope she's going to be okay. Let's take a drink. When was the last time you felt truly afraid? It probably was something to do with my children. Um, I was I was absolutely terrified when my daughter told me she was pregnant. Um, more for her, I think, than anything else. She she's killing it. She's doing so great. That little boy is look. look. I mean, come on. <laughs> He's just the cutest thing ever. I'm a truly afraid, like for my life. Like I'm a big Sally, like I'm home alone right now. Jordan is uh, working nights and the boys just left to go to their dads for a few days. And if it wasn't for my cat and my dog, I would be a hot mess. Like I'm the type of person that if I hear a noise and I'm home alone, I will legit grab the biggest knife I possibly can find or the closest object, which at one point in my life was a cordless phone. I'm not sure what I thought I was gonna do with the cordless phone, but I will walk around my entire house. I feel like you're not hearing me. My entire house, <laughs> check every room, every closet, under every bed, and literally, like when I open a door, I'll be like. <laughs> now, here's the funny part. I've often asked myself, Nikki, what the hell do you think you're gonna do if you actually open a door and there is someone there? Are you gonna stab them or smack them with your cordless phone? I have no idea. Let's just hope that we never get to that point. <laughs> Scott, do you have a p favorite pair of socks? Not really, I have a favorite style of socks. I have to have like socks that fit nice and snug. I am one of those people who like, if your sock is slouching slightly off the end of your toe or on your heel, especially when it's mine, but even when I see it on other people, I'm like, like I can't, <laughs> I can't handle it. So I have to, I like those, those ones that hug your feet and they have that little extra like, elastic -y part around like the middle, the, like the arch of your foot that keeps it all nice and tight. Splenda or sugar? Neither. I always, I, I don't put sugar in my coffee or in my tea. 
Um, I always tell everybody I'm sweet enough as it is. I don't need any extra sweet. <laughs> Bullshit. I know, I know. How do you prefer your eggs? Uh, I like mine sunny side up, mostly. Uh, I love eating sunny side up eggs with a little bit of toast and then it all kind of just like melts into everything else. And But it's funny, I'm like weird with eggs. If I make scrambled eggs, I have to, like before I scramble them, I pull those little white embryo looking things out of there. Oh, I just kind of made myself like, <laughs> anyway, I'm like just weird with this. <laughs> Anyway, um, favorite beer. Oh, that's a hard one. Um, hi guys. <laughs> You're probably wondering what just happened there. So, in the interest of full disclosure, I realized that my friend Pam was having her live, and so I took a break to watch uh, Pam's live and support her, and then I realized that I hadn't eaten anything so I ate dinner and then after that I realized that I needed to edit a video and so okay here we are so this is the now the next day and I got to thinking about this video it really wasn't supposed to be very long but we had a bit of an issue yesterday with that egg leonema so I think what I'm gonna do is just make this video a little bit longer it might 45 50 minutes or so and it's just gonna be like a big q and I'm gonna make the moss pole I'll show you how I do that uh, and then we'll get this guy repotted while I continue to answer some questions so that's kind of where we're at so just a heads up okay so I am going to start my moss pole so um, this is the moss that I typically use and um, I've never had any issues with it. And it's really cool because it comes in this like really hard brick. And then when you add water, it significantly expands. So that should be enough to do this for this guy. Oh, and to finish answering that last question, it was what was my favorite beer? Um, so I do like Belgian Moon. Um, there is this French one that I really like that I can never remember the name of, but it's in like a blue bottle. And then um, I really like Keith's Red. That's another one of my favorites. Um, I do like trying different beers though. I'm just not all about the hops and stuff like that. Like I, I like craft beers, but if it's too hoppy, then um, I just can't handle it. Do you tell your husband how much your exp uh, expensive plants actually cost. I do actually. Um, I am really lucky, I think. I have a fiance who really supports anything that I do. He really believes in me. But yeah, so he is very aware of, of what my plants cost. Uh, how are you enjoying your new hair? I love it actually. I have been a blonde my entire life and you may notice it looks a little different today um, because my hair was very blonde when I originally dyed it um, I knew that within about two weeks I was gonna have to dye it again um, just to really get all the dye in there um, because it was really starting to lighten up so if you actually like back the video up and look at my hair and now look at it it's probably significantly different looking <laughs> So if you were wondering why my hair looks totally different, that's why. Aw, uh, Kaylee, what is, oh, sorry, I gotta squint here. What's a genus of plant that you wanna get into? Oh boy. Um, she's gonna make me use my brain. Rude. <laughs> I love you. Um, I don't know, I've been, okay, I don't know how I don't think they're rare maybe they are uncommon or more uncommon but I see a lot um, not a lot actually but I've heard about uh, the genus homolomina homolomina Kevin McAllister's plant I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing that correctly I definitely need more water in here um, I've seen some varieties of that that look like really cool and I don't have one. I've never owned one. 
I actually don't think I've ever seen one, but they look so pretty. Um, I've seen some really, really cool varieties. So that's probably one that I wouldn't mind getting my hands on. So if anybody locally knows where I can find one of those, I'd be interested to try something like that. So yeah, Homolamina, and I think I'm saying that correctly. Somebody is gonna correct me anyways. Please do if I'm saying it wrong. Um, I'm sure there's other ones. I'd like to try a Piper. I think that would be kind of cool. And maybe some other um, Finophora types. I definitely want to try some shingling plants. I would like a, a Dubia and Finophora Cryptantha. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, so yeah. Thank you, Kaylee, for your question. What is your number one wish, wish list plant? I, I don't think this is a secret. I have gushed about this plant forever. It is definitely the variegated bilati. Um, I am obsessed with that plant. I really, really like my regular bilati and I just can't imagine how cool it would be to have the variegated one. So that plant has been on the top of my wish list immobile for a long time. Oh, I almost threw that in my coffee. When are you coming to Florida? Stasia. Um, actually, I'm hoping to come down to Florida for the Aeroid show in September. Um, we are trying to see if we can financially work that out as we do have plans to go to the US in April to do some visiting. Are there any trees that hold a sentimental value? <laughs> do you mean like from my childhood? If it's from my childhood, most definitely. I like, um, we used to have this big old maple tree out in the backyard of my house. And um, <laughs> I posted on my Instagram stories today, I'd actually run across some older pictures of myself uh, when I was about maybe five, I guess. Well, between, there was a couple, so maybe between three and five. And um, one of them was, I used to do ballet, like for years and years and years I was in ballet. And so I had this picture of me in my little ballet uh, outfit. It was a recital and it was like a little, I think we were supposed to be like fish or something. I don't even remember. And then um, I had another picture beside that of me in a dress all prim and proper and <laughs> so got me. So then on the next slide was me on a four wheeler or a three wheeler actually. And then me when I was playing baseball when I was like five. That's more like me. <laughs> so. Anyway, that was a roundabout way for me to tell you that I used to be a tomboy and I used to love climbing trees. So I, um, we had this big old maple tree in our backyard and I climbed it all the time. And then when I got a little bit older, I thought like, oh my gosh, how cool would it be to, to build a tree for it? So I decided at like 10 years old, I guess, that I was going to build myself a tree fort in this tree. <laughs> and I mean... I didn't get a full tree house built, obviously, but I was well on my way. I had most of a floor made and I was pretty proud of myself. So anyways, a maple tree is probably, I think, one that holds sentimental value to me. Scott, what is your favorite bridge? Do people have favorite bridges? Oh, Scott, I don't know. I, I Honestly, I don't really like bridges all that much. There's this one in Ontario, the Hamilton, so Jordan would know. Anyway, it's called the Skyway, I think, and it is horrifying. It is super high when you're coming up to it and you're looking at it. And I've gone over it a couple times when it's been really windy. And let me tell you, actually, we drove over it when it was really windy and we were hauling our trailer. Um, we have a camping trailer, a 31 foot uh, camping trailer. And so you can feel the truck and you can feel the wind shifting the trailer back and forth so bridges are my favorite <laughs> so i definitely don't have a favorite does jordan ever help with uh you with plant work uh, etc watering 
humid filling humidifiers, etc. He 100% does. Um, he doesn't help me with watering. That's um, just something I haven't really taught him yet, I guess. Absolutely helps me with um, filling humidifiers. He's great for that. He'll help with whatever I ask him to. He's really great about all of that, actually. Or if I need him to like, here, hold this. <laughs> He'll help with all that kind of stuff as well. What potting mix is your fry deck in? Um, so my fry deck is in the same potting mix as my, I'm out of water, as my Aeroids. So it's the regular potting mix that I use. I can never remember what it's called though. Um, lots of perlite, um, some orchid bark. And I think in that mix, I have a little bit of um, uh, extra peat as well, just for a little bit of moisture retention. But other than that, that's all. And she seems to be liking it quite nicely. Favorite liquor? <laughs> right? Um, gosh, you know, I'm just not a picky gal. Uh, favorite? I don't know. What's my favorite liquor? Whatever's on sale. <laughs> um, yeah, like, I'm not, um, oh god. This one's longer than the ones I usually make, so this is getting a little bit more difficult. But once this first row gets down, it's actually quite easy. I'm gonna cut this off because it's easier. Um, but yeah, normally I'm a wine drinker, for the most part, I would say. Um, or beer. I tend to drink beer more in the summertime than in the winter. There's nothing like sitting around a barbecue or a campfire with a cold beer in your hand. Um, yeah. right? And can you swim? I can actually. Um, I used to be a lifeguard back in the day. Uh, how old was I? 17? 16? Maybe? So yeah, I can swim. We do have actual water here, not just ice. Just so. Can you ride a motorcycle? Hell no. <laughs> can you? I can ride a bicycle. Actually, I shouldn't even say that. I don't even know if I can still ride a bicycle. It's been a really long time. But you know what they say. You never forget. <laughs> it's like riding a bicycle. What oil is better, conventional or synthetic? You know what, you probably thought you were gonna trip me up on that question, um, but considering the fact that I work for an oil recycling company, <laughs> I win. Um, depends on your vehicle, actually. Full synthetic is definitely uh, a longer lasting um, oil, but not all vehicles require it. I'm not gonna go into a big oil rant, but thanks for your question anyways. Do you feel like Canada needs a wall, like like Trump feels like we need a wall with Mexico? Um, you know what? <laughs> oh, there are days, and you know what? I I don't want to get all political, but let's be honest. I I mean, I'm not backward about saying that I feel sorry for all Americans because your president is a moron. Um. I, I'm just gonna go on a small, small rant because like I said, I'm not American and it's not directly affecting me. Um, I think a president should be someone that you can look up to, that our children can look up to. And I will tell you right now, I wouldn't even allow my children to look at his Twitter feed. It is embarrassing. Um, it is juvenile. He name calls. We don't allow our children to name call. Why should it be acceptable for our president to call people names and make fun of people? That's insane. So I'm sorry if you're a Trump supporter, but I can't support anyone, not that I have to, um, that is as immature and arrogant and Man. Okay, I'm just gonna stop because I'll just get all riled up. Uh, Windows or Mac? Um, I have always been a Windows person, but that's probably because I can't afford a Mac. <laughs> I'm sure that if I had like an iMac, an iPad, iMac? Do they still call it iMacs? I don't even know. 
Um, I would probably like that. I know as far as editing is concerned and that kind of thing, I think they're far superior. But as it stands right now, I've just always used Windows. You know what's funny? With this set of questions, I got quite the handful of people advertising themselves, which is weird. This one company wants me to message them to do a collab. It's like a jewelry company. Other than the fact that I wear a couple select pieces of jewelry, what makes you think that I would want to do that? Um, there's this singer that keeps messaging me this way. Why? Have you ever bought from Wild Thing, the succulent guy in Canada? Um, actually, no, I haven't. I know who you're talking about. Um, but I've never actually purchased anything from him. I, he has quite the quite the the selection and quite the collection of succulents. Um, I've just never been into it, you know. Sam also asked, "Are you gonna keep that gorgeous burgundy hair?" Yep, yep. I think I am. I really, really like it. Um, I might, you know, deviate from the darker tones a little bit. Actually, what I wanted to try next was like um, almost like a black color with like this gorgeous red um, like chunks through it I think that would look really cool or like an ombre sort of thing with like black at the top and then the red at the bottom I don't know we'll see what happens now you know anything's possible uh, next question your favorite brand of makeup it, I mean, I don't necessarily have a favorite brand of makeup. Depends on what um, what product that I'm using, whether it's foundation or concealer or uh, pressed powder, whatever. It really differs. Um, I have um, I like Morphe for their bronzers. The bronzer that I have from Morphe is really, really cool. Um, I have a couple NYX products and I really like them as well. But other than that, I'm just like a CoverGirl Royale kind of chick. I don't spend a whole lot of money on, um, huge makeup lines. I just, I mean, the only thing that I might buy and simply, um, because I support them would be like anything from like Jeffree Star or Shane Dawson. And it's just because I just think they're both fantastic. Um, okay, so we have our moss pole made. Here's our pot. Okay, next question. Do you prefer silver or gold? Um, I actually prefer white gold, to be honest. Um, my Both of the rings that I wear on a normal basis, so obviously that is my engagement ring. Uh, that is white gold and rose gold. And then this was my mother's ring. Um, it has my birthstone in it. And that uh, is white gold as well. So, um, but my necklace is uh, yellow gold. But the, the, <laughs> the gem, the um, pendant, I guess, on it um, is white and rose gold. Um, does anybody even care about that? I don't even know. Do you prefer tacos or hot dogs? Tacos. Am I crooked? Anyway, I just screwed up my laptop. <laughs> so I'm just gonna finish this. I'm sorry if I didn't answer your question. Um, I'm sure I'll be doing another Q&A at some point. Um, so here's the thing that's concerning me about this plant. <laughs> So when I got it, so this is the stem. It's, I don't know if you can tell from there, it's quite thin, but as the plant is aging up here, the stem is much thicker. So this was one of the major concerns for me for getting this plant um, on this moss pole is that it really needed some stability because if this plant gets too much bigger, that bottom stem is not gonna be able to support the plant and it's gonna snap. And so, uh, I really need to get this guy done, which horrifies me because I'm scared to even tip it over at this point. But we're gonna do our best. This is gonna be really scary for me. 
These little ties are the best. Yes. Okay. I'm hoping it all goes well and she just slides out of there really easily. I'm gonna have to lay her down. Okay. She's not just sliding out of there super easily. There we go. She got roots! Obviously. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, lady. Okay, so she's got a lot of roots. There's no like super, super tight, uh, uh, thick roots. They're all quite thin and small. However, she's got some that are getting a little bigger. So I'm just gonna kind of squeeze this a little bit at the bottom just to kind of loosen up the roots at the bottom. I don't want to mess with it too, too much. Okay, so. <sighs> I'm going to put, oh boy. So, let me see, what else can I tell you? Stories, stories, do I have any stories? Oh no. I wish I could just ask you guys right now. Okay, ask me a question. I guess this is more like the live Q&A. Repottings or whatever would be helpful. <laughs> this plant makes me so incredibly nervous. All right, I'm gonna get the moss pole in there and then I'm gonna finish filling in Be so much nicer. And I haven't watered this plant recently because I knew that I was going to be putting the moss pool on here. So if any excess water does flow down into the pot, it's not the end of the world. Um, I'm actually getting on a regular routine as far as uploading is concerned. I don't know if you've noticed. Um, so I've, I'm finding that Saturday mornings. Um, are working for me uh, Tuesdays and either Thursdays. I'm gonna definitely do two a week. Um, this terrarium thing kind of threw off the regular game. It would normally be like Saturdays and Wednesdays. That seems to be a good day for me. But, um, oh, here's another cool thing about these. So if you cut them too short, you can just stick them together. And then it's waste not want not. You don't have to like cut another piece. There we go. Oh, my arm. <laughs> okay, now I can use both hands. Anyways, so I have been trying to be a little bit more consistent. I'm actually noticing a difference. Um, so that's really nice. I'm happy about that. Um, I also want you guys to let me know what you want to watch. You know, like I definitely enjoy doing content that I it like that. I definitely like doing content that I enjoy. Um, because I feel like if I get to the point where I'm doing content that I don't enjoy, that's really going to come across, which means you guys aren't going to like it either. Um, so, you know, sometimes we have to kind of walk that line. Not every video that every creator posts is going to be a hit across the board. Sometimes you guys aren't going to like what I post. Uh, sometimes I am going to post non-plant related content. And, um, but you know, like... I have, to, I have to be true to myself and I have to do what I enjoy doing as well or else this whole thing, like why bother? Because it's not going to be enjoyable for me and you guys will notice that. Um, 
So, but having said that, I definitely want your input on things that you want to see. I did a little poll the other day on uh, my Instagram asking people, you know, what videos they're into right now because I really noticed that uh, depending on the season, uh, depending on the month, um, you know, depending on so many different factors kind of dictates what people want to watch and when. So I was just kind of wondering, like, what are people into right now? Like, what are you guys watching right now? Are you still, um, you know, I know people mostly uh, right now are really enjoying the plant hauls and stuff, and um, which is great. Apparently I ran out of storage, so I had to just fix that issue. Um, reason 5082 why I want a real camera instead of my phone. Okay, um, so I think I've got most of him set up. I think I put his moss pole a little crooked. Let me see if I can straighten that out. Um, anyway, as I was saying, <coughs> with a lot of places not shipping for the winter, uh, plant hauls are a little bit, uh, like unboxings and stuff are a little bit more difficult to do. But don't worry, <laughs> spring is coming. <laughs> And uh, I can't wait. I'm super excited. Okay, I'm just gonna throw probably two more pieces of Velcro on here, and he will be good to go. So, anyways, if you guys want to see anything in particular, if um, you know there's something you're like, oh my god, I wish somebody would post a video about blah 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 let me know what blah 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 is because I am more than willing to to give it a shot okay actually I think that might be okay oh no I'm gonna put one more on the top I think once I water it it'll be okay it's a little crooked Stand up straight, you drunken sailor. Um, what else? I have uh, a plant tour coming up here. Uh, I think this video will post first and then um, after that I am going to actually split my plant tour, my house plant tour into four parts. Um, basically one area at a time so each shelf will have its own dedicated video and that way they'll be about 15 minutes um, as opposed to like 45 to over an hour because at this point and I feel like that way too I can spend a little bit more time on each plant and then I don't have to kind of like rush through the whole thing the longest video will probably be the shelves behind me in the front window because there are a lot of plants on that shelf <laughs> I think they're I think Jordan counted and there was almost a hundred or more just on that shelf, so that's insane. Um, so we're gonna start, and that's another thing that I've got coming up here. I'm actually going to start filming that right after I am done this. Okay. So I don't wanna move her around too, too much while she's, um, while the soil's dry because the moss pole is heavier at this point and I don't want it to shift too much in there. Um, I think I'm gonna lose these bottom leaves here soon, but that's okay, because she just won't stop growing, so. Um, anyway, I'm sure this video was like crazy long. I do apologize, um, or not, I don't know. Some people like longer videos. I personally like a longer video, because that way you can just like throw it on and let it play, so you don't have to find a new video to watch every five minutes. Um, but I know not everybody is that way, so. But if you enjoyed the longer video, you know, let me let me know that uh, too. The more information that you guys can give me, the better, you know, I can, um, you know, gear my content for the people who watch and the people who support me. Um, uh, speaking of supporting me, thank you so much to all of you for all of your wonderful comments. I've really enjoyed, um, you know, picking a subscriber commenter every video and posting it at the end. And I think that's kind of like a cool way to give back uh, to you guys. Um, one thing that I totally forgot in my terrarium build video and I kicked myself afterwards is I totally forgot to tag anybody, <laughs> which was ridiculous. So um, 
I am challenging for next Terrarium Tuesday for my girl Stasia to do this Terrarium Tuesday build. Um, she's actually never built a terrarium before as far as I know and so I think it would be a cool fun challenge for her She's very creative and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what she has to come up with so watch for her video. I'll link her channel down below um, and What else? I think that's about it Anyways, continue commenting. I love seeing them. Um, I think more I want to get you guys involved in my channel as well. So um, I think what I'm also going to try to do is if you guys want to send me like a picture of your favorite plant, maybe every video that I do, I'll ask you guys for a specific photo and then you can send it to me on Instagram and I will feature... Um, I'll just kind of go one by one and feature each of your plants like one per video or something like that I think that would be kind of fun. So we'll have our Instagram commenter or sorry our YouTube commenter and our Instagram photo I think that's kind of a fun idea So if that's something that you want to participate in then please find me on Instagram. Here is my handle plants pots and mm, whatnots <laughs> and uh, Go ahead and send me a photo of your favorite plant um, that's what we'll do for this one. Send me a photo of your favorite plant. So just one, like your number one plant that you have in your collection. And um, I will feature some of those in the next video. My first Plant Tribe commenter comes from Christy Bim. She has been around for a while and has been an amazing supporter of my channel. So thank you so much, Christy, for sticking around. My second Plant Tribe commenter comes from Steph Wellington. You never cease to make me giggle. And I so much appreciate all of your sweet comments. Thank you so much to the both of you from the bottom of my heart. Okay, I will end this video because I'm sure it's crazy long. <laughs> So thank you guys so much again for liking and watching and commenting and subscribing. I love you all to bitty bits. Have a great day, night, week, month, and year, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah!